не до кінця. Разом не до кінця. Right now, a major show of support for Ukraine at our state's capital. People rallying, calling for something to be done. CBS 13's Laura Hafley is there live. Laura. Well, that rally just wrapping up, and emotions were certainly running high today on the steps of the Capitol. Nearly every person we spoke to has a loved one in Ukraine, and they're simply waiting for a phone call or a text, letting them know their loved one is okay. All of this, of course, happening here, as I said, just now wrapping up. Not only did we speak to people here in Sacramento, but we did manage to get in touch with a person who right now is in Ukraine and is not leaving. Here's why. Chad Martz is the son of a Roseville man who works for an organization called Hungry for Life that supports countries and communities experiencing poverty and hardship. And in Ukraine, the group is focused on helping children and women. And right now, they are preparing to take in those who are fleeing the conflict zone. We were able to speak to Chad Martz over Zoom, who's worked for the people of Ukraine for years. The amount of people who we've worked with over the past 18 years, um, I, I just don't feel how, like, how can we turn their back on, uh, turn their back on them when they're looking for, for help that we can provide. You just break down because you just can't believe what's happening. You can't believe, you know, when the military is passing you by on the, the road and you're seeing the faces of the young men and women who are, are needing to, to go and fight for the freedom of their people and for, for us, it, it takes you back. And I don't know about being scared. It's being concerned a lot for those who are on the front line. Now, right now, it's about 4 a.m. in Ukraine. People here saying they're waiting for it to move later into the morning hours, hoping their loved ones will reach out. And until then, they say all they can do is hope.